live right now. <gasps> Hello. Oh. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm just checking to make sure we showed up on here. Yeah, let's see if we are on here. I think we are. Oh my goodness, I can see myself. Yes. There Hello. we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are live. Hello. Yay, we've got some people on. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Melinda. Welcome. Hi, Melinda. Welcome. Hi, Melinda. Hi, here. So just so you guys know, if you guys want to comment and you would like for us to see your comments, there's a little link at the top of this live that says StreamYard. If you click that link and give StreamYard permission to see your comments, we can see all of you. So um, yeah, go ahead and do that so we can see your name, so we can see. Hi, Carmen. We're so glad you're here. Yay. Absolutely. We'll jump on and then we'll kind of just get started in like, you know, it's five o'clock right now, actually. So um, we might just go. I know we've got, I, I, I see people jumping on, so I don't want to get started too quickly, but they will catch up. So first of all, I realized for all of these, I haven't really introduced myself. So I'll start if you are new and have not seen us before. My name is Robin Moore. I am a sales director with Mary Kay. And um, I'm just here to interview this amazing director. And I'm going to introduce you in just a second. Is that me? Can you hear that? That's me. Oh, it's your oh, it's your notifications. Got it. It's every time somebody comments on this, huh? Okay. I'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll introduce our beautiful guest, Natalie, in just a second. Um, but I just want you guys to know that a couple of the things we want to see from you guys is just comment. So comment for giveaway. So we want to know, first of all, who invited you? Who are you here for? Because they are so honored that you jumped on and took the time today to spend with us. And the best thing you can do for your consultant is really just to listen with an open open ears and just an open heart because you never know what this could be for you. Maybe it means that this is something that you could see yourself doing, or maybe you know someone. And in this time of uncertainty, we just want you to have an open mind um, because neither of us, and I know this, Natalie and I did not ever think we would end up being Mary Kay sales directors. That is not a part of our journey or what we thought this would look like. So we just want you guys to go ahead and let us know. So this is the beautiful Natalie Grissette. So you guys, are there any people in your life who you just, when you know you're about to see them, you get so excited because you know they're going to change your life. Do you guys have someone in your life like that? Like, I just want to know. If you do, like, I want a little hand emoji or like, give me all the hearts because I will tell you, for me, that's the thing that I feel when I know I'm going to see Natalie Grissette. She is someone who gives me so much energy, so much joy. She's just there for you. Like, and if you have ever met her in person, Oh, what a gift you have had because this woman is just really, she is joy incarnate in my opinion. Like she just exudes joy. So we're so glad to get to know her today. So Natalie, I want you to tell us just a little bit about who you are. Who are you, Natalie Grissett? And we'll go back to who, where you were when we found, when Mary Kay found you. But today, who is Natalie Grissett? Well, do you want me to start off with my affirmation or do you want me to start off with who's Natalie Grissette? Yes, who's Natalie Grissette? We'll get there. Okay. Well, Natalie Grissette today is a um, full-time um, office manager and a sales director and a mom of um, four bonus children and five grandchildren that call me Glamma. Because if they call me grandma, we we not having that. We not having that. So, um, but and we are empty nesters. Me and my husband and I've been married to my husband Earl for twenty five years. So that's who I am. Okay. And I'm so I just want to clarify. You said you have four bonus children. Mm hmm. And yes. then you have more children, correct? Yes, we. I have four bonus children. And uh, yes, and I have two girls. So we have six children. Yes. I have four bonus children and two girls. Yes. yes. Okay. And our girls are 19 and 24. 
Alicia's 19. Yes, she is. She's going to be 20. Yes. Gosh. Yes. Okay. That's so funny just to even hear that out loud. So, okay, you guys, one of the things that I love that Natalie has shown is the true ability. A lot of people tell me, oh, to be successful in Mary Kay, the only way to do it is to do it full time and nothing else, right? I hear that all the time. So Natalie is the walking, talking image of, she works full time. She has grandkids. She's very involved with her family. Like her family is everything to her. You will see it. If you know her, you know her family. Like they are important to her. She spends so much time with them. She's a great grandma. And I love that I'm stealing that when I get to be one. Um, And, but she does this Mary Kay career full out when she can, right? So what I love about that is when she's in her Mary Kay, she gives it all she's got, but she doesn't have to be in it all the time, right? It's just really, I would say, Natalie, would you agree that you work smart, not hard? That's right. That's right. I do. And I feel like you're also very good at priority and time management. Yes. Yes. Do you have any like quick tips maybe um, on time management, working a full-time job and having a, you know, it considered, some people are maybe considering a side hustle for you. This is, you know, almost like you have two careers. One is just way more flexible. Yes. Yes. Which is Mary Kay is way more flexible. Well, I know that especially when I have a child that Alicia, she was in sports. So I really had to have pockets of time. So I know that my career, my job is a nine to five job. So I know that I have that set in stone. So I have so much time with my Mary Kay job career job that I can do. So I usually just set aside um, two to three appointments a week for my Mary Kay. And that's what I love. So with that, I set aside a two to three appointments that I can do my Mary Kay. I love that. So, and I do that with my schedule and I tell my family, this is what I'm doing. And this is what I'm doing. And just what works for you. Like whatever day you don't look and say, Oh, what do those people work for other people? No, no, this is my business. What works for my family. Mm -hmm. And I will Mm -hmm. tell you, this girl loves Mary Kay so much on her birthday, she's pampering other people. I do, I love pampering people. I love giving people facials and love just celebrating them on my birthday. Let me pamper you on my birthday. This is where we're a little different. On my birthday, I take the day off. (laughs) On her birthday, she's giving everyone the pampering. I love it, I love it though. I love how different we are and we can all work in our strengths. So I love that. So Mm -hmm. one of the things, Natalie, you've been doing Mary Kay 24 years now. Yes, yes, yes. And Which it doesn't say, like, go ahead. It does not feel like it. Now you're like, how do I even, how am I even old enough to be a married kid for 24 years, right? Like, it doesn't even seem possible. So, okay. So, we're going to talk a little bit about where Mary, Mary Kay found you for sure. But in those 24 years, can you tell me maybe one thing that you think you have received from Mary Kay that maybe, people would not have expected. Like one thing you've grasped from Mary Kay, maybe it's tangible, maybe it's intangible, but one thing that has really resonated with you since you've been doing this for a while. My confidence in who I am. My confidence. So have you not always been this super confident, super bubbly person? I probably was. And you know how they say, when you first start Mary Kay, you're that tight little bud. And I probably was, but I was, I know it's hard to believe, but I was shy. I was, I know it's hard to believe, I know. But I was shy when I first started coming to the meetings. I was like, oh, but I, my confidence, oh man. And my self-esteem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So, okay. So let's get back to maybe where Mary Kay found you, because all these people that are with us, that are watching us are thinking maybe Mary Kay isn't really for me. Like, what is this even like? What, why would I do something like this in this season of my life? So where were you in your season of life when Mary Kay found you? Well, I was working as a legal assistant at a law firm in Sierra Vista. And my my husband and his, we lived in Sierra Vista. He was stationed there in military. And I was pregnant and with my firstborn, Mary. 
And um, I was 22 years old and we had my husband's three children. He had three children then and they lived with us. And during that time, I started my Mary Kay business. But during that time, my mother was in a coma. And people ask, why did you start that? I, I don't know. I, I guess I needed diversion. Mm. I needed something else, I guess. So yes, I started my Mary Kay business. Three weeks later, after starting my Mary Kay business, my mother passed away. I come from a big family. There's eight of us. Wow. So you're one of eight? I'm one. There's eight of us total. So I'm one of six. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there's four, five girls and three boys. So I have three siblings below me and four above me. Okay. Ooh. I, at that time when my mother passed away, I took custody of my brother and my sister. So 22 years old. Yes. I have my husband's three children. Yes, and their ages were 12, 9, and 6. Okay. I was pregnant with my daughter, and I had my brother and my sister, and they were 15 and 12. And we were moving to Tucson. We had built a home in Tucson, and we had just moved to Tucson three weeks after joining Mary Kay. All that happened. Wow. Yeah. God had a plan. Clearly, clearly that was uh, an appointment that you needed to have. It was an anointed appointment to be a part of Mary Kay. I don't even think I even knew that about mm -hmm. I feel like we know each other pretty well. So mm -hmm. would you say that, then I'm assuming, I don't know, did you start your Mary Kay business then just rolling through all of that kind of craziness or did what did that look like for you as a start then? So what happened was I had to, my outlet was to go and hold appointments in Pamper Women. My, that was my outlet. So mm -hmm. with having a new baby, I was able to get away <laughs> from all the kids and then um, spend some time with, with people and then come home. So, but yeah, I would maybe hold one appointment a week. Maybe. So it was like really for your mental health to be mm -hmm. able to, and mm -hmm. for you, your thought process was, I can stop thinking about my life and things I mm -hmm. have going on mm -hmm. and go serve others with gratitude. Yes. And, just, exactly. and that I think is huge is mm -hmm. a lot of times people go, well, you know, I'm not really good at sales. And I sometimes joke, thank goodness. Yeah. Because yeah. that's no. not what we do, right? Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> we serve each other. We serve women specifically. Exactly. And we give, educate them. So we always say that there's a lot of people who are teachers, you know, Mary Kay, because we are a teaching based business and really just teaching someone yeah. something never been told, serving them because sometimes, Natalie, I'm sure you relate to this. We're the only smile they have seen in a while. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And I didn't wear any makeup. I wore lipstick on my cheeks, eyes. Yeah. I would go like this, put the lipstick on my eyes. Yep, that and was look it. at her now. She's the most Ooh. fabulous. She is always on like the most gorgeous makeup, hair. Look at those earrings. Yeah, everyone's jealous about those Kendra Scott bling bling. Okay. Um, and just she and you would never know this about you. So Natalie, let, that we talk what Natalie talked about in the beginning is we we say in Mary Kid that we start as a tight little rosebud and we blossom into this beautiful flower which is who God created us to be and to really live. And it's not that we're we're changing as much as we're opening up to what God has given the gifts that he's given us. Yes. So what are some of the gifts that you found have served you in Mary Kay that you maybe didn't realize were gifts before you, you really did Mary Kay? Well, some of the gifts that I have are that I can be, I can be who I am. Because I am the woman that I am now is the woman who I've always been. It's just Mary Kay is a vehicle to be who I am. 
And so like I can meet a woman, I my, my family says I never meet a stranger. So I can meet a woman and be friends with her. And I just love that I can pull out so much potential in other women. Mm. And just, you know, I love that. And so, and I could just see so much potential in women. And um, that's that's what I love, that I can just see that in other women. Well, so. and I love that you said that, that like, this is always who God created you to be. You just didn't know how to show her or have the permission even. Mm -hmm. you know, I We talk about this a lot and Natalie and I kind of joke, like people will always say, well, you're just a whole kind of extra, you know? And I'm proud of that. I'm proud when people say that is true. Mm -hmm. Because I am exactly who God made me be. Made exactly. me. And I don't apologize. We do not apologize for who we are. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think that's what you're teaching, not only other women, but your children. They get to yeah. model that they get to be them and don't mm -hmm. have to fit in this bubble or this square. And really loving ourselves exactly the way we are, right? Exactly. Yes. Would you say that in your journey of Mary Kay, you've had some seasons where you didn't feel super confident or super um, well about yourself? Yes. 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 I did. I did. And that's, that's, yeah, I have some, I had some well, journey in life. It's life, right? I always tell people, Mary Kay isn't hard. It's life that's hard, right? Life <laughs> brings in curveballs. You know, I really um, will say for me personally, um, I also am a bonus mom. And having Natalie as a mentor, I've talked to her so much about what this looks like, what it doesn't look like, and, and, and having that faith-based just women who mentor you in ways and just giving me a picture of what it can look like versus what society says it looks like and just – giving grace to each other and having this beautiful family that, you know, really was created. And I love that, that, that she has been that to me and taught me so much. And I remember just every time walking in going, Natalie, I want to be just like you. <laughs> and I love that she would say things like, well, we don't need another Natalie or no, you got to be you. And she want to talk about affirming people. Natalie is one of the best people at affirming and knowing exactly when they need to be affirmed. So I wanted to kind of ask you guys, maybe what's your gift that you don't feel like you're using? Because I think Natalie is really living in her gifts and she doesn't apologize. She doesn't ever do anything other than say, this is who I am. And it's not perfect, but it's who Natalie is. And so those of you that know her, she is kind of famous for something. And I want to talk a little bit about these things. So positive affirmations. What does, when I say the word positive affirmation, what does it mean to you? It means that um, when I talk about my positive affirmations, it means that I am giving, it means that I'm giving out vibes to people so that if they're not having a good day, I'm out there to help them have a good day because you don't know what the next person is, is having. You don't know. You don't know what they just, what they prayed about. You do not know because you can determine your day when you wake up in the morning. You can determine your day what you when you wake up in the morning. You can have a good day or you can have a bad day. Mm. So being a positive, having that positive affirmation will determine what your day is going to be like. And I think that's so huge. Like what our, our thoughts mm -hmm. are, are real. Our thoughts are what we project, you know, that whole idea. I hear people say all the time, you know, don't say fake it till you make it. That's not real. And I honestly think to myself, if you look at science and you look at studies that people say, when you smile more, you feel happier. When you put these things, when you take movement, you know, that whole um, theory about like the Wonder Woman stance, mm -hmm. um, what's that called? I forget what it's called, but the idea that when you have the power pose, that's what it's called, power pose, power pose. and when you have positive affirmations, when you do these things, science has proven that they will change your life and change your thoughts. And again, changing your thoughts, I think, changes everything. And yes. that's so powerful because there is something to be said about you are going to listen to the loudest voice and the loudest voice is the one in your head. Yes. Right. And I feel like as women, we're the hardest on ourselves. We are. Do you feel like Natalie, sometimes it's like acceptable in our culture to be negative towards ourselves, towards each other. Yes. Yes. Because we always feel like, okay, it's okay for me to be down on myself. 
it's okay. It's okay because it's me, you know, it's me. I'm, it, you know, I'm okay to talk about myself and be down on myself, but no, we need to stop that. We really do. I totally agree. And I want to say, this is probably the greatest thing that's come out of Mary Kay for me is realizing mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. thoughts and taking care of my mind and exactly. my, my belief in myself changes everything for my family as exactly. a mom, as a wife. Exactly. And as you bless other people, if you have that, that, that just exude that and you really do become what you say. And so Natalie, um, you have an amazing positive affirmation, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. When you make these affirmations, do you think some, cause some people were like, well, how do you make an affirmation? So one of the things that I remember you saying a long time ago, cause she's always been good at this. This is, this is a gifting of hers that you said a lot of times I was feeling the opposite of what my affirmation said. Yes. Can you want to dive into that a little? Yes. At the time when I made this affirmation, I, I was not positive. I was not motivated. I was not enthusiastic. Actually, I was going through a deep depression. Mm -hmm. So I needed that enthusiasm. I needed that. So I needed to, of, along with help, but I needed it was also talking to myself because you can talk yourself out of things. You can talk yourself into things. So I needed that motivation so that I can get myself going, mm -hmm. you know, cause they say talk, when you wake up in the morning, I don't want to go work out, but mm -hmm. that's you're, you're telling yourself you don't want to do it. Right. So I was going through a deep depression. So I wanted to get out of it. And so with help, I did. And so, and that's where this, af these affirmations came in. And so, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. Cause I know it's vulnerable, but it's real. Mm -hmm. that's, it's it's raw. real. Okay. And so here's what I'm going to ask you. Um, I know everyone's waiting for it. So <laughs> give us your positive affirmation. Let's, let's hear it. Let's go for it. I'm the motivated, positive, enthusiastic, energized woman on a mission with a passion and a vision. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm the warm pattern queen, booking machine. I am too blessed to be stressed. I am too anointed to be disappointed. I'm the future Equinox driving, future senior sales director of the Persistent Pearls, Natalie Grissette. Woo! Woo! And the crowd goes wild. You got it. <laughs> I like, and you guys physically, I can feel my heart rate. Like uh, we just both got so much energy. If you're sitting, I know I got goosebumps. I know if you're sitting on your chair, you're like, oh my gosh. And here's the thing. Like she said, she wasn't feeling motivated, enthusiastic. She wasn't feeling like she could do things, all things through Christ who strengthens her. She was telling herself what she knew was true. And I will tell you, she exudes this every day. And it's so good that most of us can do her affirmation for her because we hear it so often that we can do it. And I think it's powerful that you say these words out loud, Natalie. And I just wanted people to hear that. And I wanna, I wanna kind of circle back to this became this blossom of Natalie became because of this Mary Kay opportunity. That's right. Because she wouldn't have been affirming herself and doing all these things no. and becoming the person that God created her without this Mary Kay opportunity. Okay. So I really want to share with you guys that if you're in a place of maybe you're lonely right now, you know, mm -hmm. maybe your, your financial situation isn't great. Maybe your mental stable, your mental health is not stable and you need help. Mm -hmm. um, and you need to find positive people to surround yourself to even get better after you get that help. There is a place for you. And that's the thing about this Mary Kay tribe that we all love on each other. And we also, we don't let each other talk negatively about each other, about ourselves, about ourselves. We never talk negatively about each other, but about ourselves. If I get one ounce of little doubt in my head, Natalie will be right there to affirm all the things that she knows God has created me for and to live in my strengths. Even when it's hard to say that to someone and even when it's hard, like that's the kind of relationships and the kind of women and the caliber of people that we are surrounding ourselves with when we're in this Mary Kay career. So if this is something you're like, that sounds like a tribe I want to be a part of. That sounds like a group of women that I want to be a part of. You're probably thinking like, how does that happen? Okay. There's a couple of ways that you can do that right now. There's a super, super way you can do that. So I'm going to have, I'm going to share a, the way we usually do this. So um, in Mary Kay, it costs a hundred dollars to get started in your business. 
Mm -hmm. Just $100. And that is incredibly crazy because it's a starter kit full of all the information, all the training materials, all the actual physical materials you need to start a business plus over $400 in free product. Yes, it's a lot. So Natalie and I love to shop. So Natalie, if they told us that all our heels, we could get $400 with the heels for $100, would we be there? We would be there. We will be there. We will be the first in line. Let's be clear. <laughs> this girl and I love our heels. So just think about that. $100 may not change your bank account. It may not change your whole life. But a starter kit from Mary Kay could be the start to something bigger than you ever dreamed. And I hear that all the time. My life is bigger than I ever dreamed. Yes. To know that you have created something bigger than your own mind could have thought. And now our minds are expand bigger. So we have bigger dreams. Yes. That has happened. And so if you have questions or you're like, I'm intrigued, like I want to learn more about this Mary Kay opportunity. I really want to know what it means like for me. We want you to share some things with us. So first, we want to know what impressed you the most. What was the thing that you're like, that is what, you know, Natalie's journey is so unique. And just so you guys know, I'm going to give you a couple snippet things of what Mary Kay, our company, because I think that's where it trickles down from, right? Like um, there's a quote that says culture can eat strategy for breakfast because culture matters. And our culture starts at Mary Kay corporate and it trickles down all the way to the brand new consultant. So Mary Kay was started by Mary Kay Ash, the woman, uh, 56 years ago, almost 57 years ago. We are a $5 billion company, debt-free company. We are an, a green company from our products to our packaging, to our company in corporation. They actually are renewed they have renewable energy is how they survive like how their building works we it's incredible the things they're doing planting a million trees um for arbor the arbor foundation i mean you guys so many great things plus we have a product that we are the top five global skincare and cosmetic company global meaning the whole wide world whole wide world you guys, with a culture that says we put our faith first, our family second, and our career third. With a culture that says we treat each other the way we want to be treated with the golden rule. We are kind. We are loving. We are generous. We are servant leaders. Like, that's why Mary Kay is successful because our culture can eat strategy every day for breakfast. Like, culture is what it's all about. And this Mary Kay culture has really created, I'm going to show you two women right here who didn't have a lot of self-esteem, who didn't have a lot of self-confidence, who were not positive, who were not motivated, who are not enthusiastic, who are all those things now. Not because so much of, because we bought a $100 starter kit, but because we invested in ourselves and we showed up for ourselves and we got to be a part of a company that really has changed both of our lives. And to be honest with you, I don't know what my life would look like without Natalie Crissett. I am so grateful for her. Mm -hmm. Um, I just love you so much. Pa publicly, Natalie, I will tell you, you are someone who I think of anytime I think down or anytime you're there to lift me up. And I appreciate that. As woman to woman, we all have our days. So thank you for being that person to me. Thank it's you. The in the world to me. So I love you. So I want you guys to tell us what were you impressed about? What, what impressed you? And then the last question, we want you to send this to your consultant. We want you to comment below, but we also want your consultant who invited you to know this is your obligation to her. This is the only thing we ask that you do. It's the only thing you have to do is be completely honest. And so on a scale of one to five, one being I would never do Mary Kay in a million years. There's a little worm there because I always say I'd rather eat green fuzzy worm than do Mary Kay. Like that's how bad a one is. So if you're a one, don't worry. So was I. And here we are. So there's one. And then five being, oh my gosh. This tribe of women, I would pay to be in this girl club, let alone make a living out of it, right? Like, why not? A hundred dollars, that's nothing. And right now, there's a super, super duper special that is ending the end of this month. So I want you to text your consultant right now and ask her about this special because it's crazy. It's crazy it's exciting. Like, can you say $30? 30. Zero. To start a business. I dare you to ask any business owner to say they would laugh in your face if you said, I started the business for $30. That is so incredible. So I want you guys to just comment below what that number is, one to five. Definitely 
um, just getting your pop, your information and giving your feedback to your consultant. And here's what I want you to know. No matter what, we are so grateful for you. We're so grateful for our customers. We're so grateful that you just sat and listened because I think the more people hear about our Mary Kay opportunity, one, more people are going to want to buy from a company like ours because we're the best. We're ethical. We've got the best products on the planet and making a difference in a woman's family's life. Yes. Literally are changing the life of a woman by buying lipstick, by buying a mascara. What? That's incredible. So we just want to thank you one more time for joining us live today. And for those of you that are watching this back, thank you. And make sure you connect with your consultant as well to really just ask her. Maybe you have some questions. Say, how does this, how would this work in my life? I, I hear Natalie's story, but how would this work for me? And one more time, I want you guys to give me all the hearts, all the love for the amazing Natalie Grissett. You guys, there is nobody better than this woman on the planet to have as your friend. She could be your friend too. I mean, she's going to be my friend first, but she can be your friend. I can hear her. You can come meet her and hang out with us. When this is all over, we can't wait to hug each other. I know I cannot wait to hug you, Natalie. I love you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being vulnerable and raw. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. You have anything else you want to say before we? I end? love you all. Well, thank you guys. And don't forget, comment below one to five on a scale of one to five so we know. And we hope you have a very blessed rest of your Wednesday. We will talk to you all very soon. Bye, you guys.